That's why it's got it. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's fresh. Like, yeah, that's why it's fresh. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kyle Koperopoulos. Welcome back to the Antiques Home Show, where we appraise precious items in the home of Dave Kubitschek with discoveries like this one. Tell us about this item you brought in. Well, this is a book from my aunt. She used to live in Paris and she had a pretty large collection of books. But this one she left to me in her will. I think it was very important to her. Um, this here is a collection of poems, ballads, and plays by the late, great Robert Louis Stevenson. It looks like it has a little something special on one of the pages, correct? Uh, yes, there is an inscription on it that I don't understand, but I thought mm -hmm. maybe you guys would. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I can, uh, I can help if you Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. There's bound to be some crinkling every now and again. Okay. All right. This is easy for me. There it is. Well, this is an incredibly exciting and rare inscription. It reads, we shall remember the man through his words, enjoy, comma, Marcel. Okay. All right. The Enjoy Marcel line, my colleagues and I think that that could be Marcel Proust. We could be looking at a very high value item. Yeah, well, in regards to its condition, there's one dog-eared page that I should show you. It might affect the value of it. Let's see here. Yeah. Do you need help with that? No. Sometimes it takes me longer to flip through a book like this than other times. Do you need a hand with Really? I'm able to live a normal life, okay? Would you admit that? Just let me show you my aunt's book. Okay, yeah, see there, do you notice the dog ear in that? Oh, oh, that? I'd barely even classify that as a, like a minor crease. Uh, that would have pretty much no impact on the okay. value. I just realized there are two problems, and the other one's worse. I'll show you that. Oh, another page? This one I don't think you'll like. Uh, I, uh, you know, I lost my hand in Operation Iraqi Freedom. So actually using it for this is an honor to me. Absolutely. Thank you for your service. I wasn't in the war. I actually worked in it in the office, but I lost it on a paper shredder. I thought it was off. They told me it was off. I'm sorry about that. I was pretty into drugs and alcohol after being a veteran. Just let me show you my aunt's book. This is so funny. You know, I should be using this hand. But I sprained it playing volleyball with my little sister the other day, so I'm just gonna keep using the other one. You, okay. Are you okay? I'm pretty, pretty much okay. It was three weeks ago. Okay, so this is it. Do you see that mark there? Yes. This would not have affected the value of the book. <sighs> Whoa, okay. Um, that it's is... just that everything you did. No, but that's a relief because I'm in a bad shape financially. I just lost my job and I lost my house and my car. Do you have any idea what the value uh, would have been with this. That is probably too high. Five thousand bucks. Um, close. <laughs> uh, with a book of this caliber, especially in the Proust Library, this book intact would have been in the one hundred to two hundred thousand. Yes. Oh yes. Intact. God, that is the news I need right now. With all yes. of its pages, but God. since you did, you you that ripped great out about news. thirty. Man, put her there. Holy hell. Mm. Aunt Josephine, she said, whatever you do, this is the most important book to me, and do not sell it. But Aunt Jo, you don't know what it's like to be in hard times, baby, because I am feeling good. Oh my, I haven't had a drink in five years, but fuck if I ain't gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna probably seal this thing, get insured. You know, obviously I'll take out some loans since I know that I got this money coming in. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't do that at all. Thank you. God. Happy to lend a hand. Kyle, you really know how to make a guy's day. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm going to get seafood tonight. <laughs> they told me it was off. <laughs>